have to do my nails again because I hated what I just put on them. <laughs> so I'm redoing them already. Um, but I wanted to show you before I start my Manny video. Um, in the last video, I said I had a patch on this finger um, with a using a tea bag and nail glue. So I wanted to show you how I did that. Um, in case you've never seen it done before, I thought it might be an interesting way to start out the video. So before I do anything, I'm gonna just clean off my nail beds with some alcohol. It tends to make things stick better for me. Some people, alcohol can be really drying to their cuticles and whatnot. It does dry them out a bit, but um, it works for me, so I do it. But if you have really dry cuticles and nail beds, you don't want to use alcohol. But this just kind of gets any oils off my hands, any dirt before I start. So um, I have here a piece already. This is just literally, it was a tea bag that I cut open, emptied out the tea, and I'm using, <coughs> excuse me, sorry for sneezing. Um, I'm using the wrapping, so the outer part of the tea bag, right? Um, you could also do this with um, silk wraps that you can buy pretty much anywhere. Um, or um, also the little sheets that they use for fiberglass nail extensions would work as well. But basically you just need a piece of fabric like this that's porous and thin and not too much. And you're gonna cut off a little piece of it. So I'm only gonna cut off a little tiny square of this here. And then we'll put the rest of this away. And what we're going to do is, so you can see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but here I have a little area where it's broken like way down into almost the quick of my nail. And it's like kind of peeling and fraying and whatnot. And I don't want to cut it that into that because it's going to hurt. Um, so to hopefully get it until it grows out that it doesn't break any worse. Um, I first, I'm going to put some nail glue down. So this really works well for like a split. Um, it's not gonna, like if you have a big section out of your nail, it's not gonna fix that. But for like a split in your nail kind of break, especially when it's super low and you don't want to have to trim it into down into your nail like that, this works really well. So once you put on the nail glue, I'm going to just take the piece of the tea bag here and press it into it. And when I did this earlier, it took a while for the nail glue to dry. So I don't think that I'm gonna wait for it to dry on camera. I'll just show you the finished result when I come back to do my mani, but I will do like a little bit more on top. And then once the nail glue dries, um, I will take and trim this part around here and then buff over where I have the tea bag and the nail glue with just a little nail buffer, very fine grit, you know, nothing too crazy, just to buff it and smooth it out a little bit so that you don't have like a bunch of edges showing in your mani. So you wanna let it dry all the way and then just trim it, file it, buff it, and it should be good. Um, I usually have to redo it every time I do my nails because with the nail polish remover, it comes off. So every time I do them, I will redo that until it grows out enough that I feel like I can actually truly trim it and not have it be painful. So that is how I do that. Um, all right, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes to do my mani. Okay, so I finished up my patch on my finger here. Um, filed it down a little bit, 
toughed it out and then um, added my base coat that I'm currently using is Nail Teaks Formula 2. It's a nail strengthener. Um, I believe it's got protein and collagen in it. I can't remember. But um, I've heard good things about it, so I'm giving it a try. Um, so that's what I have down on my nails, nothing else. And um, what we are going to do is a mixed mani from Alex. So um, in this mixed mani, I have um, Sally Henson done to scale, which I think is these pretty little mermaid scale ones. Then we have Let's Meet in Crete, which is this pretty like iridescent sparkly blue. Um, Always and Forever is this purple sparkle color here, super pretty. Um, and then also, I believe this one is the one that's called Blue Lagoon. And then um, Raise Your Voice, it's an overlay. I thought this was less bitter, more glitter because it looks very similar, but Raise Your Voice has different colors in it. So super excited to use that. Haven't used it before, haven't used, I don't think I've used any of the the bits in this Manny at all before. So exciting. All right. So let's go ahead and get going. Right. All right. <clears throat> I did have a couple extra strips and I put them aside because I loved this Manny so much. I bought two of them. So I have another one of this mix and I had some extra of the, um, always and forever that I just put with this in case I need it for that one. But I had plenty of strips to pick from in this mani, so I'm excited. All right. Heat it when the tab doesn't come off completely. It's annoying. All right, let's see here. I have a feeling this one is gonna be so pretty on its own. I'm not gonna wanna do the overlay, but I'm going to, so. Cause the overlay is gorgeous too. All right. Yeah, this is absolutely beauteous. Oh my goodness. Can you see that color? Oh my God, I don't know if it comes across adequately on camera or not. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. This is pretty much like all my favorite colors. So I'm fairly sure I'm gonna love this one and I'll be able to leave this one on for a while since I did not like the mani that I did with the sub box. Um, I just didn't like how I combined the things. It wasn't necessarily that any of the sets were the problem. I, it was the way that I did them, I think. I didn't like it. I would have, I think I might have liked it a bit more had I done full nails of all the different things. So like if I had done full nails of the um, tortoise shell one and the blue one instead of trying to split them up. I think I might have liked it better and I would have left it, but um, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't. It just looked horrible. I didn't like it. Um, I did take pictures though, so I can still at least show you guys what it looked like and um, put them at the, in the video, but I, I wasn't happy with it at all, so. I love this color. This is so pretty. It's got just like this perfect, like iridescent finish to it, but also glitter at the same time. So it's like, a Heather dream. <laughs> 
because I love iridescent shades, you know, like the kind that just, depending on how the light's hitting them, they, they might look a little different. I love those. So this one is definitely right up my alley. Now, I need to decide if I want my sparkles at the top or the bottom of my nail. I tend to like them coming from the base, so I'm gonna do it that way. So whenever I'm doing, so glitter dip normally, if you're gonna put a glitter dip down, you're gonna have less sparkle at the base and more sparkle at the tip of your nail, right? I prefer them the other way. <laughs> Um, so I will take this one and I cut it in half. And then we will take the strip and put it down with the glitter at the base. And we're gonna smooth it out. And then we can use our orange wood stick or our nippers or whatever it is that you like to use to clean up your edges and your tips and whatnot and take off the excess down by the cuticle here. And sometimes you will need to use the nipper because with these bigger pieces of glitter, um, sometimes you need to actually cut them. So like here, right at my cuticle line, I've got a couple pieces of big glitter, so I need to really actually cut it so that the glitter's not hanging over and it doesn't rip the strip when you, because if you just pull it or um, try and perforate it like you would, it will rip, the, it could rip your strip. So you don't wanna do that. So whenever there's like a glitter on the edge, you wanna use the nippers or scissors or something to cut them so that it doesn't oh, that is so good oh my god all right i'm in love with this already and i've only done the pinkies not even the full pinkies yet just half a pinky because <laughs> i've only done one pinky so far completely oh, this right here needs to get a little extra i don't like right there There we go. And a, a glitter that needs to be trimmed. There we go. All right, so yeah, I'm in love with that. It looks so good. All right, let's do the other pinky here. Now, if you didn't want the glitter, like see how I'm putting it right now, the glitter is basically going to the tip. But for me, the glitter on this is sparse enough. I'm okay with that. I can still see um, enough of the base strip. But if you wanted less glitter on your nail and you really wanted it just by the base and not at the tip, you can see I've got enough here I could have cut some of this off at the bottom and then put it down farther to make it less, um, you know, so that it doesn't go as far up the nail. But I like how it's looking, so I'm gonna leave it that way. But um, you could cut some off to make your, your glitter a little more concentrated at the base if you wanted, so. 
especially for me because I have really short nails right now, so I don't need anywhere near an entire strip. Um, you know, as you could see, the half a strip I had so much excess at the top that, um, you know, it would have been very easy to cut some of the base off so that I had less sparkles near the tip of my nail, but I kind of like it this way, so. All right. Got a little sparkle there that needs to be cut. Okay. All right, so now with these strips, I have no idea if they are if either of these are transparent. So I'm gonna look and see what they look like, but I really want two layers on each nail. So regardless, I'm gonna put this under this, but I'm just, I wanna see if they're, yeah, I had a feeling this one was gonna be kind of transparent. And I'm wondering if I should put it on top of this or under it. Let's see. How transparent is this little guy? Oh, uh, this is gonna, no, it's not. It's not transparent at all because it's got the silver backing. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm just gonna put this under and we'll put the other one over and it's fine. So I'm put this down. That's really pretty. Ooh. Okay, I like that a lot. But I think it would be too much over top of this. I think you wouldn't see enough of the mermaid scale coming through. So I'm basically just gonna use it as a, like a base set. That's weird. Hmm. Like a little dent in this nail near the bottom. Not sure how I did that, but... So, anyways, we're using this like a base set underneath. You won't see it, but it's okay. I really like it though, it's a super pretty color. Wow. I could just do this, but I really want the mermaid scales on for this. You know how much I love my mermaid nails. All right, let's see how it looks, I guess, right? Aiden, can you let your brother be, please? Okay, you do see the, like the, having that underneath made the blue bits brighter, I feel like. So that's good. Oh my goodness. This, the silver and teal together is so good like it's just oh, it's a really good combo they go really well together
Okay. I like that a lot. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm wondering though if I should try with the one I'm gonna use on the middle finger to do the opposite, to put the mermaid scale one down first and put the blue sparkles over it. Because I have a feeling it would still show through. It would just be, I don't know. You just might not be able to see it as well, and I don't want to do that either. I don't know. You know what I might do? Even though this one is small for my middle finger, Maybe I'll put that underneath and then do these two together so that we get some of that pretty blue sparkle kind of on the, where you can see it, you know? And this will just be like an underlay again to that. So let's do that. That way we can still see some of that pretty teal color. I love it. Okay. And it's okay that this is a little small because I am doing two layers this way. It won't get like, it won't be very thick at my um, cuticle line, you know? Because it's not really going totally right up to it. So, but then once I put the other set over the top, that will go right to the edge. It'll be perfect. Gosh, I love every set in here so far. Every bit is good. This is so good. I'm glad I bought two mixes of this because I'm definitely going to want to do it again. Even though I know summer is basically over now. We're already into August. Um, I don't care. I will wear mermaid nails any time of the year because I love them. I think... I wanna do, let's do this. We'll do this nail with this side so that our scales are going in the opposite direction. So like on this nail, they were kind of going upwards. This nail, now they're going down and then it'll be the same on the other side here. We have them going downwards on this one and then upwards on this one, or however you see it. Vice versa, it doesn't matter. They're, they're going in opposite directions so that they're not the same on both hands. I mean, on both nails that are right next to each other. You know, I like them to be different. I often do that, where I just like, let's make every nail just a little different, even if it's only a tiny difference. I like to have a lot of different stuff going on. It's pretty rare that you see me use just one set. Um, and I usually mix it up this way where I do different things, slightly different at least, to each nail so that, you know, like, even where 
This one is technically gonna be the same look as this, but we're gonna have the different color underneath so it still changes it up a little bit. Doing these ones so that you have the scales going in opposite directions when they're sitting next to each other. So like, you know, we could have done, no, you can't. I was gonna say we could have done both ring fingers one way and both um, middle fingers one way, but you can't, you have to use the scales in the other direction for the other finger. So um, this was really the best way to do it so that at least on the same hand, they're going in different directions, which is a very super subtle difference. If I didn't point it out, no one would probably even notice, but it's still different, so. I really like this mermaid scale one. This, like, I know we've got soon coming out the um, throwback sets and they're bringing back Atlantis, which I like, but I think this looks better with this gorge silver background and then the teal scales. I mean, I don't know, It's I think it's better. Oh my goodness, all right, well, let's put this little guy down. I have some cleanup because this is definitely a little big for my pointer finger, but it's okay. Oh my goodness, the colors in this are insane. It's not just like the teal sparkle. I feel like there is other color sparkles in there too. Oh, that is just so good. All right. I don't know, is Blue Lagoon an old set or is it a set that was in the summer? I, I can't, I don't know. I'm sure you guys do, you'll tell me. Um, Cause I feel like I need some of this. It's amazeballs. I feel like it might be an old set. I don't, I know there was a set in the summer um, stuff called Lagoon, but I think it was just Lagoon, not Blue Lagoon. So I think this might be an older set. But I don't know. I have not really been buying a whole lot lately. I've been cutting back on how much I get. And so like, I haven't been buying with every release. I don't think I actually even got any of the summer sets that came out. Um, and I have not gotten the fall release ones yet either, but um, so I'm a little out of touch sometimes with what sets are current <laughs> and what sets are like old, unless it's an old one that I absolutely know for sure, you know? Like some of the older sets I can spot a mile away, I know exactly what they are. But some of them that were before I started using Color Street, I'm not always sure about. I'm so excited for the throwback release though, let me tell you. Um, I pre-ordered because I didn't want to have to worry about getting on there the day of because I always end up missing stuff and I didn't want to miss out. So I pre-ordered with somebody else and I'm getting um, three sets of Infinity Love because <laughs> I feel like I need them. Um, and then... 
I think I was going to, I think I did one of each of the others and maybe two of Hawaiian Half Light because, I mean, I actually had never seen that one before, but it's freaking amazing. So I am excited to get those sets because if you're an addict like I am, you know, like a lot of the old sets get, some people start charging like ridiculous, ridiculous prices for them. Um, and the lady that I did my pre-order with is only charging $10 a set. So she's actually charging below retail for them, which is great. I think because, you know, if you pre-ordered with her, um, I don't know that she would afterwards, but if you were pre-ordering, she did that for you. So um, I'm excited. I don't have to worry on release day about getting on and getting on there in time before everybody else does and getting my sets. Because that's one that I will definitely, I wanted. I've been waiting for that, so. Um, I'm super, super excited to get those. This color is amazing. Let's see how it looks with the sparkles over it now. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut it in half and put the sparkles at the base of my nail versus at the tip. Um, let's see. I think that one's gonna just fit, so it's okay. I was gonna say, if it's really long, I might cut it down so that I don't have the sparkle completely covering everything, but I mean, who are we kidding? When is sparkle ever a problem? Glitter is always good. So, as far as I'm concerned, the more glitter, the better. Doing it this way, you do end up with some cleanup around the edge, which if you don't like it, you know, you may not want to do this. But I think it's worth it because I like my, my glitter at the base. And I think that came out super cute over this teal color. Even though some of the, the um, glitter bits in this dip are um, teal, I feel like you can still see them enough. And since this strip is glittery, like it doesn't matter if you don't see them. But look at that. I mean, that's, you want to talk about some glitter. Look at that. Look at that. That's some glitter right there. Definitely a Heather Manny with all that glitter. I love me some glitter. Y'all know that. Unless, of course, this is your first time seeing me, then welcome to the insanity. And yes, I love glitter. So, it's pretty rare that you're gonna see a Manny on this channel without glitter. I do them sometimes, but as a rule, I tend to prefer my glitter in as much as possible. <laughs> this one is so much better than the one that I did with my sub box. I'm so much happier with this. I couldn't stand to look at my nails for another second. And I know as some people liked it. They said it looked pretty, but I, it just wasn't, it just wasn't me. It was not me at all.
Can you tell I'm concentrating? I got so quiet, sorry. I guess we're gonna cut because that glitter will rip if I don't. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, love it. All right, and now we're gonna do these, these adorable little purple babies on our thumbs. And I'm gonna do a double layer with this too because um, I have two thumb strips so I can take them because my nails are so short right now. And literally take the other side of this strip and put it down on my thumb. So let's let's do a little smushing first. Get this first layer adhered good. That is a really pretty color too. I like that a lot. All right, and now we'll put the other half. Okay. I don't think this is going to change how the color looks because this is not um, like a transparent set. So I don't think it's going to like necessarily make it darker or anything. Putting a double layer, but we'll see. And the double layer was a little too thick for my soft pusher to clean the edge up here. This is really pretty. I really like this color too. We'll put some of this one in on the other nails when I Do this another time with the other set that I got. I'll have to add some of this purple in on these nails so it's not all. I mean it does have the purple, but it's okay. The um like the sparkles in the overlay have purple, but it's not as much. So the purple's not necessarily as connected with the rest of this because I didn't use that much of it. I didn't use any of this particular color in the other nails, but I think it still is good. All right, let's see. I'm gonna, when I put down the first layer of this, we'll compare and see if the double layer actually did anything or if it's the same color. No, they're the same color. So it doesn't make it any deeper doing a double layer. Some sets, even if they're not transparent, a double layer will make them darker, but this, this is not. This one is not. But the double layer, I like that to give my nails the extra strength of the two layers, you know? Oh, this is good. I love this Manny. Alex did a great job mixing this one. I love it. Love it. 
I love it, girl. You did a good job. You always do a good job, though. Like, it's pretty rare that I put on one of your mixes and go, ugh, I hate it. Pretty much everyone is guaranteed to be fab. So, um, Alex's Mixed Manny site will be linked in the um, description of this video for you. If you haven't discovered her yet, go check out her page. She does new mixes um, every Wednesday. And she also does unicorn mixes every week and does like a wheel spin so that everybody gets kind of like a fair shot at buying some of the unicorn mixes. So unicorn meaning like sets that are harder to find. Um, you know, that those ones she'll actually do. You put your kind of name in the hat to say, I want this mix, and then she does a wheel spin. Um, but new mixes every Wednesday. Um, and they're fabulous. I've never had any issues with them, um, like being dried out or anything, because, you know, they are... Obviously, if she's doing a mix, she's got to open them and reseal them. So, um, but I've never had any issues really with them. Um, older sets, regardless, can be finicky. So like a set that's really old, you know, it might be a little less sticky, but that's to be expected because the, you know, I mean, if, you've, if you're working with a set that's like 10 years old, it's obviously not going to be fresh as a daisy, but I can usually use my... Um, Orly Bonder with those ones if I need to, to make them stick a little better. Um, but, you know, I've never really had any issues with her mixes, so. I only have happy things to say about her mixes. They're awesome. All right, there it goes. Some mermaid nails by Alex. I love them. They are fabulous. I'm gonna be staring at these for days. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you on the next one. Love you, bye.